Right, so I'm after getting another parcel, and uh, I don't think I'm after getting three in a row before. And this is from a different uh, supplier, and they're my palm shop. Right, so it's a nice tidy parcel, all fixed up. We'll get it open now and we'll see what's inside. Right, so we see the one pot here, got the packing straw, and we've got another two pots down here. So we'll clear this out and we'll have a look. Right, so three small pots, one large pot here. And we'll just look at the packing slip. Um, they're a European distributor, so it's the supply all over Europe. So I'm after getting Trachycarpus Nova Nanus and a Sable Miner. Okay, so here we have a Sable Miner. And this is the uh, kind of dwarf palmetto, a small growing pal uh, palm, and um, this is going to be added to the collection of sables that I have. And it's about a foot tall from here to here. Hey, oh, Max is all over Nina. She's all right, she's not in heat. <laughs> so Sable Miner. See a spear coming up. The leaves haven't fully divided yet. And these three here are the Nova Nanus. Now the Trachycarpus Nova is supposed to be a very fast growing um, out of all the Trachycarpus palms. Uh, the Nova is supposed to be fast growing. The Nanus is a dwarf variety. So what I'm hoping to get out of these three here are, is a um, the speed of the the Nova and the height will be restricted by using the Nanus. So hopefully it will be three mid-size or smallish kind of mid-sized palms that will uh, that will grow quick enough um, I'm gonna show you where that where these are going right so over here in the patio area I have a Trachycarpus Wagnerianus okay or a waggy palm this one here and that's actually really starting to stretch now. Really stiff leaves, great wind resistance. And this one here has just taken off. It's after it's getting huge. Since I put it in the ground, the petioles are the really long. I suppose one, two. It must be nearly three foot of a petiole there. Really long petioles. Uh, this strike cap is for tunii. Okay, so I'm actually going to be taking this palm out and that palm out because what's going to happen within ten to twenty years, these palms are going to be up here, and they're not going to get to see. The nice palm leaves okay so you're gonna have a big 
tall tin trunk going up here with palm leaves up here and up here whereas I the ideal scenario would be that that palm now which is at around I don't know between seven and eight foot tall that would actually just stay that size and if the waggy could grow up to around the same height seven eight foot tall so with those three uh, trachycarpus palms the hybrids that I'm after bringing in that's what I want here I want that height the, so I can actually see the palm leaves okay now these two I'm going to be taking out um, they'll, I'll have to do a job on them separately but I'm going to show you where they're going to be going So I think that Trichocarpus fortunii, the petioles, uh, looks re so good because it's in the, the shade, it's under the trees. So the waggy palm I'm thinking of putting here. Um, I might move this um, maybe forward up here and have the waggy palm in this area here. And... I might put that Trachycarpus fortunii in here. That ream could come out. So there's plenty of space here. And it's going to get that shade that it's, it's doing so well with. Up around the patio from these deciduous trees here. So in the summer it's going to get plenty of shade. Um, and the sable I'm thinking of putting it probably around here that banana is going to come out anyway because I'm leaving that gap there to walk in and out So I'll have a couple of sables in front of the stone here and I'll probably put two sables in here so I'll have them either side. Right so if you're going to be planting the, the palms, the full size palms, Trichocarpus fortunii um, and a lot of the other palms you have to I suppose take into account the height that they're going to finish out at um, you know over 10, 20, 30 years so if you're looking to have palms that are going to that you're going to be able to look at the palm leaves um, when they're finished out um, visually for yourself they're going to look good uh, look into getting smaller palms um, and some of the smaller hybrids right so what I'm doing I'm taking them out of the, the small little pots and I'm keeping the uh, compost in one piece as much as I can and I'm potting them up into much bigger, deeper pot of the fresh farmyard manure compost. So it's going to be really rich and I want to keep developing that those roots. Um, I'm not going to plant them up around the patio um, for a few months. I'm going to keep them in the pots and get them up, build them up uh, even stronger again in these pots. 
um, before they go down around the patio. Right, so that's one's potted up. So they're the three Nova Nanus. And fingers crossed, I'm gonna get medium sized palms that won't look out of place around the, the patio in uh, you know years and years and years to come, maybe 20 years. But hopefully uh, they'll, they'll survive and they'll uh, reach maturity.